What up, RLT Nation? It's your boy, Calvin Williams. And today I wanna to talk about this statistic that you often see online, which is 95% of day traders actually lose money over time and only 5% are profitable. That is not good at all. So today I'm gonna to go over the top 10 things in your life that are affecting your trading, whether you realize it or not. Here we go. So let's go back to that statistic. Clearly this statistic doesn't take into account RLT because here at RLT, we have a lot of profitable traders. In fact, over two thirds of the people that take our 90 days to trade masterclass report being profitable in their first year trading. But what are the reasons why so many people fail at trading? Number one, sleep. Sleep is so important to how we perform on a day-to-day -day basis, not just in trading, but in our whole life. Sleep doctors and scientists recommend that we get at least eight hours of sleep a night, guys. Okay, it's so important, your REM cycles, how it replenishes your body, replenishes your brain. If you're not getting proper sleep, it's gonna screw up your trading. Several sleepless nights can have a severe impact on your mental functions. I'm talking about your mood, your concentration, and decision-making. Mood, concentration, and decision-making. I'd say that all three of those are pretty freaking important in trading. Number two, drinking. Drinking is one of those things where it's just so common in society and everyone says it's okay. And yeah, you have a couple of drinks after work. It's not a big deal. I'm here to tell you that even just one drink the night before you trade can affect you. Tying back into the sleep. So most people find that alcohol helps them fall asleep initially the negatives totally outweigh the positives once you're actually to bed because it messes up your REM cycle, it breaks up your sleep. A lot of times you wake up in the middle of the night having to pee more, you're hungover. Drinking can cause depression, anxiety. Anxiety is something you don't want during a trade. And depression, you know, the problem with trading is if you start tying your self-worth to the P&L, So next one, number three, is just daily life stress. I'm talking about stress at work. I'm talking about stress at home with maybe your spouse or your kids. Stress can lead to lack of motivation and difficulty concentrating. What I recommend, if you're stressed out, take a second, breathe. Do box breathing. Four to five seconds in, hold. Four to five seconds, four to five seconds out, hold. And do that box over and over and over until some of that stress is out. There's a lot of stress in this world. Let's dial it down before we get into a trade. So number four is lack of preparedness. A lot of people just get up in the morning, oftentimes after drinking or you know not getting great sleep and having stress. See how I'm stacking these all up. In the morning, they haven't looked at the charts. They just roll in, they pull up SPY and QQQ. They're like, well, I mean, based on what I've seen in the last 15 seconds, I'm just gonna take this trade or that trade. Now, I'm not saying all of you do this, but a lot of people are just are not prepared to trade on the day. Take a second and just prepare your charts. Really look at everything. Don't try to predict what's gonna happen, but just go over things. Go through scenarios. Take your time. Get prepared, guys. Number five, and you've heard this from every freaking stock coach on the internet, you gotta follow your plan. Guys, if you don't have a plan, it's time to write one. And you can't just write one in one day. Honestly, this takes a while. Sometimes it might even take you a couple weeks or a month to really figure out what your plan is. Now, RLT has some great resources, some great base templates for a plan. But just remember, at the end of the day, you have to design a plan based on your style. So take your time through trial and error, make a plan, and once you've made it, stick to it. Consistency is key here. Try to stick to your plan for 30 to 60 days before you change anything on it. What I'm saying is don't be trying to change your plan every week. Guys, this one's huge. Food and caffeine. Your body is a high performance vehicle. If you're not putting good fuel in it, or if you're putting NOS in it, <laughs> it's gonna start to act weird. You need to be putting good fuel in your body. Avoid fatty and sugary foods. We want high protein diet. It's good to intermittent fast. I know some traders that just don't eat in the morning. They don't wanna feel sluggish. Also, take it easy on the coffee. I know coffee is good, it wakes us up, but if you're slamming three, four, five cups before you trade, you're gonna be jittery. That's gonna affect how you trade. You're gonna be anxious. You don't wanna be anxious. Fitness, another one that affects your serotonin, affects your mood. If you aren't working out at least three days a week, and when I say work out, I mean pushing yourself for 30 minutes to an hour, you're doing yourself a big disservice. There's a term. If you don't use it, you're gonna lose it. Guys, stretch your body, go run, go work out. Look at the leader of RLT, Jeremy, one of the best traders out there. 
He does Ironmans. He works out every day. I can't get away with not working out if I go to Jeremy's house. We're for sure gonna go on a run, do an ice bath. Something's gonna happen. He will make me work out because he understands that your body is completely connected to your mind. Spirituality, so this is an interesting one. Not everyone is religious or spiritual, but it's important to have some kind of spiritual connection. I recommend meditation, I recommend prayer, I recommend going to church, reading books, reading the Bible. You need to do that inner work, the inner healing. We all have trauma from when we were kids. You need to work on yourself. The more you work on yourself, the more you can let go. You're not gonna be clenching your fists as much. It's so easy to clench our fists in training. Oh, I gotta make money today, I gotta make money. Something's going on inside, guys. You got to work on yourself. Don't just push it down, bring it up, heal it. The best traders I know have peace and that comes from spirituality, it comes from the heart. Okay, this is a big one, bad habits. And when I say bad habits, I'm talking about addiction. There are so many things out there we can get addicted to. I'm talking about vaping, smoking, I'm talking about nicotine products, pornography, I'm talking about scrolling on Instagram, Netflix, gambling. I mean, there's a big list here, guys. And some things are good to be addicted to, like we talked about earlier. It's very good to be addicted to the gym. It's good to be addicted to your spirituality. But the problem with some of the other things I just listed is you're creating a negative feedback loop. You know, if you're saying, oh, I gotta go outside and have a cigarette every 15 minutes or else I won't feel good or hit my vape pen or I won't feel good. All you're doing is creating bad impulse control. If you have bad impulse control, trading is not gonna go good for you. If every two seconds you're in a trade and you're looking at the candles form, and you're like, oh my gosh, should I move my stop? Should I move my stop? Or you're just like taking a million scalps a day or just have no like discipline, it's gonna go really poorly for you. Self-control is so important in trading. And if you are addicted to a lot of different things, you probably have poor self-control. So it's time to get rid of those addictions or at least work on them substantially. Okay, and last but not least, number 10 is just motivation. Trading is gonna get hard sometimes. You are gonna have months where maybe you don't do your best or you have a losing month. Stay motivated, don't get discouraged. Listen to people that pump you up. David Goggins, Billy Osbrooks. Get in that mindset, get pumped up. Affirmations, right? Be saying positive things to yourself. Your inner voice matters so much. Be talking good to yourself, guys. So what's the difference between the 95% and the 5%? It's you. Don't ever underestimate your habits and how it's affecting everything else in your life. I promise you guys, dial all these 10 in, or at least the majority of them, and you will see your profits go up in trading. I guarantee you that that statistic, 95% of people are not profitable in day trading, is because most people just quit. And that's why the average is so skewed. Imagine if no one ever quit and just never gave up. I guarantee you that statistic would be way less daunting. Thank you so much for watching this video. Smash that like button, leave a comment, follow, subscribe, all the things. Love you guys so much, and we'll talk very, very soon.